Hello guys, welcome to the second session of the API.ai tutorial for the beginner. In this session, we will create the our account in the API.ai. Before that, we will see the some features of the API.ai. API.ai provides the SDK and the APIs to create the chatbots that can run on the various platforms. It was one of the my favorite feature. Its user interface is simple and it is also free. Let's switch to the browser and open the API.ai. Here it is. Uh, let's scroll down. Here you can see that it's more common features. The first is it working on the any platform. Click here to see the list of the supported platform. Throughout this series, we will integrate with the Google Assistant, website, Facebook Messenger, Skype, and the Slack. Next feature is it can be used in any device such as a phone, wearable, car, speaker, etc. Click on the Explorer SDK. You can see that it supports the almost languages. Throughout this series, we will see the Android, HTML, .NET, and the Java. And next is it support the 14 plus languages, so you can create both in the your local language too. Let's scroll up and click on the sign up for free button. From here, we need to click on the sign in with Google button. After it, log into the your Google account and allow the required permission and accept the term and condition of the api.ai i am already signed up with the api.ai so it was not asked for that i have already given those permissions so i am redirect to the dashboard now we need to create the agent we will create the our first agent in the next session let understood the terminology of the api.ai which includes the agent intent entity fulfillment etc we are seeing that uh, what are the api.ai and its future last year in september google acquired the api.ai and use it for the uh, google assistant various other competitors are exist but i choose the api.ai over other such as uh, wit.ai and louis.ai louis.ai was uh, created by the uh, microsoft and integrated it with the uh, Microsoft Boot Framework. Here is a diagram that represents how the our request will be handled by the uh, API.ai. User will give input to the uh, our devices or the app by using the uh, voice or the uh, text, which will convert back to the uh, query by the agent. From this query, it will call to the appropriate intent. Using those intent, we can call to the uh, fulfillment and we can perform the action as per the uh, fulfillment. It could be uh, use the uh, other API to perform the operation or the uh, simple DB operation. After performing the operation, fulfillment return the uh, data to the uh, intent, which will give the actionable data. Using which we can perform the operation on the devices. It could be a display the some data on the screen or set the alarm or anything else. We will see all of those terminology in deep in the next session. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me.